connectors are where templates really shine. They make these seemingly complicated pieces very easy to make. And that's because each template corresponds to one connector and you have all the pieces right there lined up for you. So let's get started. So you'll notice on the connector templates that there's these blue areas and then there's also areas that look like the exterior of the walls. Well, that's to show you the bits that need texture and that don't need texture. The blue bits are the actual connector and the brown brick bits are the exterior facades that make them look nice. There's also four different types of connectors. You have to the left, there's a cross connector. Then you have the T connector, the straight connector, and on the way end there is the corner connector. And we're gonna make one of each, but we're gonna start with the cross connector. That is the easiest one. And we're gonna start by cutting off the uh, end of the piece of foam just to get it to size for the overall template here. Just score it and snap it off. And you'll notice that it has that slit in the middle. Remember we were talking about those? Yeah, that is where we're going to cut a score line using our blade. Now you see, you don't need to have the blade too far through. In fact, it should be about as far through as the blade in our scoring sleds because it's going to be basically doing the same thing. So put your template down on the foam. Score the foam inside that scoring line there. And then we're going to cut out those two voids that are in the template as well. And these are going to cut all the way down through the foam, making sure to go perpendicular with the blade at the end. So the knife cuts all the way through the foam all the way to the end. And just hold the template in place and lift the blade up perpendicularly at the end of the cut. And if you feel like the blade is catching the foam and tearing it, you can do several little passes at this going deeper and deeper, cutting into the foam on each pass. And just remove those bits and now carefully snap the foam where we have that score line into the two pieces and just assemble them and there you go your first cross connector so the T connector is a similar procedure except we're gonna add one of those exterior pieces but first we're gonna cut those two interior pieces those are the part of the template that are in blue And then just carefully snap apart the two pieces and assemble them. Now you'll notice that this uh, assembly looks a little different than the, than the previous one, as one side is narrower than the others. And that is where we're going to connect the exterior piece that we're cutting out right here. So again, we're gonna use our grid square to set the depth of the connector, just like we did with the walls. Now you can see that that exterior piece is on the narrower of the two uh, arms coming off of the uh, connector inside there. And just set the connector in the gutter to make sure that the depth of the exterior piece is right. So there's only one last step. We got to cut a little notch out of the front of this connector. Why do we do that? Well, it's so this connector will be able to be used with modular grid tiles and also the tiles that are used in the Taverns and Towns manual. Some of the floor tiles for the multiple floors and buildings have a solid edge on the outside. So we need to take that notch off of there to make sure that it will seat properly in those types of tiles. So you see here by removing that notch, it seats properly in this modular grid tile. The procedure is the same for the straight connectors. We're gonna cut out the blue sections from untextured strips of foam. Always being careful to uh, snap that foam by while still supporting it.
and assembling the two pieces. And you notice this one has two narrow arms as opposed to the T-connector, which had one narrow arm. Well, that's because we're going to put two facade pieces on here because it's a straight connector. So we need a facade piece on both sides of the connector. And we're going to cut those out of our textured foam. Now, we don't want to do it on these wide arms. We want to do them on the narrow arms. And again, we're going to use our grid tile to set the depth of the connector and the facade. There you go. Now we're going to cut out a notch on both sides of this connector. While we only did it on one side on the T-connector, we have to do it on both sides here because this connector can be positioned in two different ways. So you can see here when you put it in, it fits nicely in one way and the other way because we've taken and notched out that, that little bit on both sides. And finally, it's time to do the corner connector. Uh, similar to the other ones, uh, the one thing to pay attention to here is that there are two different sized facade pieces and you have to put them together in the proper way. So it makes a good exterior piece. Otherwise, it's the same, cutting out the connector interior from the untextured piece of foam and cutting out the facade pieces from the textured piece of foam. Now you'll notice that with this interior piece of the part of the connector, there's two narrow arms next to each other. Well, that's because this is going to be in a corner and those narrow arms are going to have the facade glued onto them. Now there's two ways you can put these together and uh, you want to make sure you do it the right way. You can see that one's shorter than the other and it's shorter by the thickness of the foam. This is so when you connect them on a right angle, each side of the facade will be the same length. So you want to make sure that you connect them so that both sides are the same length. And you'll use a gutter in the grid tile to make sure that it stays at a right angle. That looks good. And then you'll attach the facade to the two narrow arms of the interior of the connector. So not like this, those are the long arms. You're gonna do the other two arms, just like that. And just hold that in place for a few seconds. And as you probably guessed by now, we're gonna cut out some notches of this one too. You'll see that this won't work because it's got those two notches on there. So we got to trim out the two notches that are on the same side as the facade. There you go. Now that fits in there perfectly and is flush with the end of the uh, modular grid tile. So there you have it. These are the four connectors all ready for paint. Up next, I'll show you how to do slim connectors. Um, there's three types of these. Generally, I don't recommend using these for terreno assemblies that you're going to be moving around because these do not grip as solidly to the walls as regular connectors do. But they are nice in that they are a little bit more minimalistic and they take up a little bit less foam. So for the straight slim connector, we're going to have to texture the back side of the foam as well as the front side since you're going to see both sides. And yes, the slim straight connector is literally just one piece of foam, just like that. And the uh, slim corner connector is really not much more complicated either. It's just two pieces of foam glued on a right angle. And just like with the regular corner connector, you just want to make sure you connect them the correct way. So each side of the corner connector is the same length. And you want to make sure that your texturing is on the outside of the connector. There you go, just like that. And a nice little touch is after you put these together is to take out your foam ball again and kind of touch up the edge of the end of that foam there that has no texture on it. So it blends in with the, the rest of the connector. There you go, looks pretty good. 
And last but not least is the Slim T connector, which is also just two pieces of foam, you know, glued together like a T. Just make sure that the texturing is on the outside of the T. And that does it for all the connectors. So if you haven't already, you can get started right now on your Terreno journey by downloading the Terreno construction manuals at GameGearMaster.com. They are consistently rated five stars and come with a 14 day hassle-free money back guarantee. That means if Terreno's not for you, no problem, you'll get your money back, no questions asked. Happy crafting. And a big thank you to my supporters on patreon.com forward slash Game Gear Master. And a shout out to the architects on there who really go above and beyond. Brian Yao and William Dellinger, thank you so much. And apologies if I mispronounced your names. If you'd like to become a patron and get exclusive Trino products, go to patreon.com forward slash Game Gear Master.